I'm like half the time I forget my friend's name and I only have like five friends. Hey you, I'm toasted uh, ideas and today I wanted to react to another video by Ruined Leon and the title is Trans Hypocrisy, Respecting Pronouns But Not Real Women. Some of you just now reacted to me saying sis. That defensiveness comes from white supremacy culture. That shit has a acronym now? There's an acronym to that. White supremacism culture is an acronym? Lord help us all. Now, I could go the route of spending 8 to 10 minutes picking apart how this is dumb, like for example, the notion that it's only white women getting upset at being called cis, or the idea that because their feelings are hurt, that's no reason for them to be causing harm, when you have trans individuals who openly harass people who misgender them, even though they don't know who they are, or... You know, I, I honestly think that is the, the craziest thing, is like, you see these like videos of public freakouts, and it's like, of people complaining to a random worker at a McDonald's or someone, or someone, somewhere, and they're complaining about them saying ma'am or sir, and it's like, just move on with your freaking day. Like, nobody actually gives a damn. Do you think they care about who you pronoun as? They're just there to make a paycheck and get you your fat-absorbing food. Thank you so much for asking about my pronouns. Everyone misgenders me on my comments, and it means so much that you asked, and you're trying to be respectful, so I love Hi. Could you explain your pronouns? I've never heard of them before. I really don't want to be rude. I was just wondering. I, I have a question. Do you think everyone part of the LGBTQIA++ whatever it is, do you think they actually remember every single pronoun? I I'm just asking. That that is genuine curiosity because I I'm like half the time I forget my friend's name and I only have like 5 friends. Sorry, I don't forget their name. I mix up their names. How do you, how, like what, there isn't there like 98 gen, gender expre uh, expressions nowadays? Like how, like how do you remember all of that? I chose these pronouns because in my head they, them as a non-binary person means like, like no gender, but Zzer for me feels like it's um, like sliding, like Z and Zer very similar to he and him and she and her and I just. Wait, is that genuinely why they're called Zazer? Because they're close to he and her? Is that is that real? I wouldn't know. I'm uneducated in this. I'll be completely honest. I'm completely uneducated in the world of pronouns. And no, don't try to educate me because I probably will not care. But is that really it? That they're just like close words of he and her. But at that rate, why did it why why is Z? Why the letter Z? They them there. Them self. Or if that's I it So we just choosing any letter to take over the first things. They still like them is that like her is them like a, a, a close word to him and they is like she just with v a and then there is there and then themself is themselves or himself am i getting this right look i'm gonna be honest it kind of just sounds like i'm revving up a car here like vroom vroom vroom, vroom kind of shit but like but you won't give that same respect and courtesy to people who don't want to be called cis women. You don't give that same respect to people who don't want to be referred to as birthing persons. You don't give that same respect to women who just want to be called women. And I know you think, well, yes, that's because they're the outside, 
right? Because they're not, they're not, they're not in the club. It is not earned. If you're not going to give that respect to other people, even your own allies who say things a little bit different from you, then you're not really going to get that respect you clamor for from people who don't even know you. Introduce yourself, say your pronouns. To expect people to just know you and know everything about you is a foolish thing. But I mean, that makes sense, right? Because they're assuming, which I mean, it's the the tale as old as time, when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. And when you assume everyone in the room knows what your pronouns are without saying what your pronouns are, then you really have no leg to stand on and get angry at like service workers or just random ass people walking about. Sorry, birthing people? I am not a birther or a birthing person. I'm a woman. Women give birth. Women are mothers. Literally everything that was fought for for women's rights is going straight down the drain. I think the crazy thing is how we went from calling, you know, mothers mothers to now acting as if they're like from the movie Predator or something. Chest feeders. Like, <laughs> it sounds like we're, we're, we're going back to a, a xenomorph shit over here. Like, what, it, what is this? No, they're, they're, just, they're just regular women giving birth. They're, they're, not, they're not chest birthers or something like that. They're, they're just women doing what women have always done. Or biologically have always done. I don't know why why we went straight to the bottom of the barrel of aliens to describe giving birth. Like, how did that happen? I just left a birth where the woman was in labor for four days. She was pushing for over an hour. She nearly lost her mind and was emotionally broken down by the end of this, but she delivered her baby. It was placed on her chest. There were tears in both her and her husband's eyes and the husband leans in close and he whispers, what a woman. It was a beautiful moment. And you know what would have ruined it? What a birthing person. No, we're not about to diminish the battle that women have had to fight to be recognized as badasses and what our bodies are biologically created to do. But I do mean xenomorphs are pretty cool. Like, they shoot acid, they do a lot of killing, they're, they're kind of cool, so I, I don't know, I, 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 some women might dig it. Ah, oh, crap. I think I unironically just screwed up my brain for the rest of this recording, because I, I talked about the alien movies for so long that I started thinking about the alien movies while they were talking and I just came to a conclusion so you know how in the one movie I forget exactly what the title is I think it's just alien I forget their names okay I'm sorry I think it's uh one of the predators are inserting eggs into one of the women through the throat is that essentially just coom swallowing? I think it might be. Am, am I wrong about that? It, isn't that essentially just coom swallowing? Just really metal as fuck. <laughs> Anywho, um. <laughs> it, Tell me what, what your thoughts are in the comments. Uh, did you agree or disagree with my commentary on this? Uh, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video. And then perhaps they can join the bread box. Because once again, we need more bread. But... I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.